hey, this is how to make a safe out of a book. Uh, you're going to need a book that's like around 200 pages, a uh, glue gun, uh, exacto knife that like a good distance, a uh, pencil, and a ruler. So, to measure your stuff. Alright, for this I'm using a diary of a wimpy kid because it has about 219 pages. Um, you're going to want to find a good spot like right about here and you're going to want to go ahead and make your book so you so it's a kind of flat so you don't have to hold it the whole time and you're going to want to take your ruler and measure out a square or a rectangle whatever you want just don't put it too close to the edge um if you do they will be really flimsy and it'll be really bad but the bigger you make it the more stuff you can put in it so i'm going to go ahead and measure this out. Make sure they're dark lines so you can see. Alright, hold on. So yeah, I'm just about done. Uh, after you measure your last line, you're going to want to go ahead and take your exacto knife. And with the exacto knife, you're going to cut out a square or a rectangle or whatever you made. Um, make sure you hold pages and do about like 50, maybe 30 to 50 each time like that. And you're going to hold it and go ahead and cut them deep into the paper. And after you're done with that, um, you're going to take out all the little pieces that you cut out. So find your, page, find your last page that you cut out last take out that big stack of paper all right keep taking it down do whatever just uh if it's a little tough don't try to rip it out because it could rip the pages so just go ahead and go right over it again and do what you gotta do and rip off the little excess pieces like that so when you're done you're going to take your pages and flip them over so you don't have to keep cutting through And there's going to be leftover lines from where you cut before if you weren't holding them up all the way. So you're going to go ahead and outline those again. Make the cuts nice and deep. And take those out. So yeah. Um, so after you do all that, make sure you can cut it as deep as you want. I cut it all the way to the bottom. So that's what it looks like. Um, I didn't put the blue there. It was already there. So... You can put like velvet or whatever you want on it. So yeah, and you're gonna need a hot glue gun to glue the sides of the pages inside the book. So when you open it, it doesn't move. So take your pages, flip to the first page of where you cut. Um, oh, and before you do that, you're gonna to wanna to go to the back and glue the back page, glue the back page to the back of the book, to the hardcover book. So I'm gonna put a lot of glue, put some pressure on it, do whatever. And take your hot glue gun and go all around the sides so it stays. It might take a while. Uh, if glue gets like in the middle, it's alright. So put some pressure on it. And yeah, so make sure you um, put a lot of pressure on it and make everything's good. And that's all the glue. You can see it, some is in the middle, but it doesn't matter because you can cut it off with the X-Acto knife when it's fully dried. So yeah. Um, let's, if you, it depends how big you made the square because the more square, the more glue you're going to go through. But yeah, um, so this is what it looks like after it's all done. Uh, this is a dictionary I made a while ago. It holds a lot more because it's big like this double-sided knife I have. It's actually pretty cool. Um, anyway, it holds my phone, my exacto knife, my pencil, and this one. Um, this holds less stuff, but it's still good. It's Cause like, if a robber goes into your house, I doubt they're gonna wanna take a book. If they are, there's something wrong with them. Um, but yeah. So, that is pretty much it. And make sure you put that away. And maybe tell one person like your mom so she doesn't accidentally throw it away or anything. So, that's it. See ya.
I am a true mystery.